geez, what a great effort by our guys today. Um, didn't expect that, didn't see this coming. Um, always have a lot of confidence in our guys, um, but didn't, you know, just kind of felt like watching Loyola play at the end of the year, and that's all we had to really go on. Um, and I know how well coached they are and how many guys were back. We were super concerned um, about the game and, um, you know, just felt like it was going to be a dogfight. And uh, early season, it's just so hard to tell. Um, you know, we had tried to get, you know, any information we could, which we couldn't find much um, just because you can't scout scrimmages. So we kind of went off of last year um, and just kind of took it at that and talked about hypotheticals. But um, all in all, I thought the, the guys played very well in every facet. Um, you know, certainly having an extra week and being a week ahead, there is a big advantage there. Uh, but I think the guys played well at, at both ends and in the middle. But I, I do think the that Luke, um, obviously just the stats bear it out. But not only were we able to get a lot of extra possessions, which obviously helps your confidence, helps your rhythm on offense, um, but to get some goals and then, you know, Luke to get some goals and then some other guys to get goals was, was huge for us. And, um, you know, again, just appreciate what he and the, all the guys did. And, um, you know, hats off to our scout team this week because I, I just felt like we had such a good week of practice. And uh, we had some guys down there that just did an amazing job that, that you guys don't see, um, but really, really helped us this week. And, uh, you know, shout out to those guys for sure. Network Solutions, Managed IT, and technical support, Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Uh, Luke, I want to ask you going into this game uh, with a you know matchup for you in the faceoffs uh, with a guy like Savio. Uh, how did you prepare for that, and, and what was, do you think, the main reason why you had so much success today? Uh, well, they're really scrappy in the middle of the field and everything, and uh, you know, our scout all week did a great job helping us prepare for that. Um, you know, the Wings did a great job picking up the ground balls and everything and making it easy for me. So we just, uh, yeah, we had our guys really helping out and scout this week. really made it easy for us. On your breakaway and that delay shot, how, when did you know you were going to pull that trick? And is that something you practice, or is that just a play in the moment? Uh, well, I kind of was undecided what I was going to do there. So um, I was just going to take a shot for possession, but uh, I found the back of the net. Brett, uh, first you talked about how you thought the short sticks played exceptionally today. How, how did they kind of make you like you did? Yeah. Um, you know, I think after last week wasn't our best showing, and I think this whole week we were kind of just pushing the envelope of, you know, it, it, everything has to be personal. You got to take everything personal, and with the experience we have, and I just knew we were going to bounce back, especially with Roman, Higgs, Bubba. Uh, those guys do such a great job every day that, that I'm not surprised uh, they were able to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups today. Um, but yeah, pretty much just kind of a bounce back week for us after last week. Like I said, not our best showing, so definitely a step in the right direction. Coach, midweek we talked about interior play on defense. Can you talk about um, going into the game, the preparation, but also the, the performance? Uh, Coach Jimmy mentioned there was just nothing inside for them. Yeah, and you kind of mentioned that everything kind of works together. Um, you know, the matchups we, we had, I thought the guys did a good job on the perimeter. You know, we, we, we had a, a maybe a thought uh, Olmstead could run out of the midfield. Uh, we weren't sure, so we kind of practiced that. And, um, you know, Brett spent a good amount of the week up top. Um, so it was going to start with good on ball defense, which Brett talked about. And uh, we got good play there. Um, you know, certainly the, the three seniors that logged the most miles there, you know, Higgs, Roman, and Bubba. And Bubba, I thought, was outstanding today. Um, and again, he's such a good athlete. He's been playing defense and kind of an unassuming way but it's been fantastic um, but then you know kind of off the ball you know doing such a good job on the ball allows us to be a little tighter on the ball um, but I think a lot of this again I give credit to guys on the scout team uh, Ryan Saracusa like was was number 19 all week and drove him nuts um, you know Eric Spano, Zach Whittier all of those guys on the scout team I mean listen we got at times fleeced this week, like guys were scoring goals. Um, and we talk about learning through failure, learning through mistakes, um, and just trying to get better. And those guys gave us such a good look. Um, and even 
uh, at the faceoffs, like guys like Michael Roach is a guy that you don't see a whole lot, but he literally just went after Luke all week and just just tried to like get to his hands and would wrap check him and chase him around and at times probably got you a little frustrated. Uh, but between Gavin, he and Shea Keithler, again, those guys had those guys prepared. So I think a lot of prep just does a great job with the defense. Uh, but I think there is a little bit of last week giving up 13 and just some things that, you know, our older guys take so much pride in. It, it was personal. And again, that's the journey of the season is you make some mistakes, but try to get better. And these guys are very dedicated. So um, again, we just put on the film and you look at the Duke game, you know, you look at the Denver game and, and they got so hot at the end of the year and they have such a good feel for each other. Um, they have so many older guys that, again, if, if the possessions are a little more even and Luke doesn't get some of that transition, you know, it's probably a different story, right? So you're super thankful for that. And, um, you know, Bailey looked a little dinged up, so I I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll respond. He's been a great one for a long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if they bounce back in a really good way next week. The most improvement a lot of times comes between week one and week two. Yeah, Coach, do you control substitution? And I ask that for a reason. You got a lot of guys you got to get in that lineup or you want to get in that lineup. And you got them all in today and they all got a little bit of the action. Is somebody there helping you do that or is that something you, you concentrate on? Yeah, I mean, almost everything we do is a collective effort. You know, I'm really lucky to have great players, but our staff is awesome. So it's always a group effort. I trust those guys a lot and there's a lot of checks and balances. So um, whether it's first quarter or, or the fourth quarter, you know, we're always having discussions. And um, again, on a day like today, uh, what was great is we're going into the fourth quarter and Brett's pulling everybody in. and and just kind of challenging everybody to kind of keep that focus and that intensity. Um, and again, your job is a lot easier when you have guys like Brett and Luke um, that are that dedicated. But I think, you know, in any of those scenarios, and we didn't think that would happen today, um, but if it does, we want to keep going because you want to obviously play 60 minutes. But there are a lot of guys that we talked about that work hard all week. And if there's ever an opportunity to get those guys in, and again, we didn't expect it today, we need to get those guys in because they sacrifice a lot and they mean the world to us. And, and everybody here is just as important as anybody else, whether they play a minute or not. It's just who we are and what we value. A, a teammate's a teammate. So no one's more important just because maybe they're a little faster or score more goals. Like a Terp's a Terp. And these guys carry that off the field culturally. So it permeates everything we do. Uh, Scored 20 goals in the second straight game. You had 11 different guys get on the score sheet today. What does that kind of say about the depth you have in your attack and how hard is that like for other teams to defend you? Yeah, again, going back to last week, you know, not having Jared, right? Again, it, it was going to be a, a kind of a group effort this year, but yeah. You know, 11 scores, and I think 60% of the goals were, were, were assisted. So, you know, that's kind of just kind of who we are. It's a really good group. It's a fun group to be around. Um, versatile parts, flexible parts, guys that share. Um, and again, anytime we score, I think everybody's happy for whoever it is. But knowing that, you know, Logan had three and that was our highest, um, there's a lot of guys there. So for us, we're going to need that down the road um, as things go forward. But uh, again, just great seeing some of the guys there making the extra pass. Um, but again, a lot of it came from getting stops, transition, guys just busting their butts and picking up tough grounders and giving us those opportunities. Uh, Brett, what do you, how did you learn to be so escapable? When, when we see you pin back there and you come spinning out and then throw a 50 yard cross field pass and hit Bubba right in the cross, where does that come from? Yeah, that's just, uh, it goes back to what we do in practice every day. Uh, I don't think there's a day in practice where we're not doing a ground ball you know, circuit or drill where I'm constantly getting chased, getting harassed. And, and like Coach said, the scout guys do such a great job. Every time the ball's on the deck, I know I'm going to have guys chasing me and being on my back mm -hmm. and really have to protect my stick. So uh, kind of just learn from that to pick up the ball, get the space, and, and just find the open guy. Uh, so. Like Coach said, huge credit to those guys in Scout because those are the ones that uh, you pick up because of them. How long did it take for that to be natural? Uh, it's definitely something that I work on often. And I think it's always something that you can improve. Uh, a big part of what we do defensively at Maryland is, is our ground ball every day. So I'm trying to be out there every day and pick up ground balls as many as I can and 
uh, you know, the coaches do a great job of putting us in a position to be under pressure, have to pick up the ball, get away from pressure, and, and move it to the open guy. Uh, Coach, you guys scored 10 goals in the second quarter. Was there anything said uh, between the quarters, or did that just kind of get manifested on its own? No, I, you kind of look at the stats there, right? 11 of 14 facing off, so um, you're, you're getting a ton of possession. You're flipping the field, but also, like, Luke was getting forward. And again, like, he, he's not only winning the face off, but he was able to kind of escape. And, and if you watch them on film, that's why I think Savio, it's early season. Uh, that kid's really good, and he just looked like he might be a little nicked up. Because if you watch them on film last year, if anybody went forward, they didn't really slide, and he was always catching that guy. So he's a terrific athlete. He's one of the best in the history of the Patriot League. So kind of felt like you know his escapability and Luke being such a good athlete and was able to like not get caught because that's what a lot of times what happened. You watch last year, if someone goes forward, they don't have to slide because Savio's catching them. And today it looked like he just didn't have that same pop. Um, so again, I'm, I'm hypothesizing a little bit. Um, it is early season. Guys a lot of times are playing through injuries. Brett, Brett missed some time. So um, I think as the season goes and he gets healthier, that's probably a different story. But when Luke can pull away, you just have to make a choice. And him by him getting that first goal, then all of a sudden they had to slide, and, and Luke's just such a good stick handler and a good decision maker. You got Logan, you got Maltzy, you got Keegan, Eric. Now you got some unsettled situations that in a normal game and a 50-50 face-off, like you're just not getting, right? So down the road, I could see that changing. Um, but again, not, not diminishing what, what Luke did, but I think Bailey definitely um, normally is catching that guy, so I just wonder what might be happening there. But he's terrific. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.